All right, so I got a package from CD Japan, and I'm gonna get some cool things. Let me open it up real sec. I got a few stuff here for today, but I'm gonna be focusing on mainly primarily on Halo and Rising Voltaclas wrap. I'll show the rest here later on in this video. All right, so we're now onto the main course. First off is Halo. Uh, I'll show you some bit. It is in a different type of packaging. I'll show you a bit, but it's not in the entirely from the standard CD uh, covers that you'll get. It's in like a different type, so actually similar to how uh, Heart Pounding Diary, you have it's like a sleeve. So this is like an entire sleeve, which is kind of cool. I. Oh, you can open it. Hold on. You you want to actually? It's kind of cool. I do want to open it, but I don't want to damage this. Hold on. I got it. So, inside is the three... Let's just say the three Pokemon Lucius owns in the anime that have... That were at this point already seen in the anime. And then here is a, a widespread scene of... Well the opening it's kind of, this is actually kind of cool this exterior case is actually kind of nice holy i wouldn't ex i wasn't expecting this this is kind of interesting this is kind of cool anyways you got the cd itself and then you go inside um there is disc number one uh, it's not really colored, so, yeah, there's disc number one, which contains the music. Um, here is the hollow. And then disc number two is at the other side. You flip this. Disc, now, disc number two is colored. And this contains the opening. Like, the, uh, actual, like, opening TV version. And it's... And it looks nice. This opening is like one of the best looking openings. Period. It's better than all the openings in my opinion combined. I just wish it was fully textless. But honestly. Getting this textless is honestly really cool. So yeah. This is the background art of pretty much all the main Pokemon. Um, you flip this over. And then the booklets. Now I gotta be very careful as always. Hollow. This booklet, oh my god, it's, it feels so weird to get a booklet, but um, I think this might be some staff. Oh, hold on. I'm used to something else. Okay, so I think this is some lyrics for the main song. Then there is a second song. I, I haven't heard the rest of the songs, but the opening, the song that you're buying the CD for, top notch. I think the main singer was... Uh, Yama. Yama's a really good singer. I'm not a big fan of the other one, personally, because, um, uh, I don't know, just the male singer isn't really that good, but the female singer, which is Yama, top notch. Honestly, pretty good. Like, this opening is really good. I prefer this over Heart Pounding Diary, and it's by a long shot. They just did a really good job with this one. Um... So, in the back, as you can see, there's, uh, I believe they're all different songs. Like, this is three different songs plus the fourth one, which is anime size. Now, there's, the only thing is that there's no instrumental version, so that kind of sucks. Now, the second thing, which was the reason I waited for the other CD, is Rising Volt Hackler's Rap. This one's kind of heavy. Oh, boy. Oh! Yeah, see, see, it comes with two discs. CD number one has 14 tracks. Um, I do believe one of them is the full version of the rap. And then the bunch of others is a bunch of different characters singing it, which is like a minute 30. And then you got the textless version of this, which takes up a lot of slots. And actually, as a pre-order bonus, they gave you one of these. So that's kind of cool. I do want to see what makes this heavy. This is a really heavy CD, so... Um, let's take this out, let's see. 
Um, oh god. <laughs> um, alright, we're not going to open this. Oh. I want to keep that sticker, actually, if we can. Um, so, as you can see, there's a sticker. If it will focus, that is. I will give one more look at everything. Um, pretty much, this is how the spine is going to look. If it will focus, that is. There we go. And then... Alright, this is the uh, spine thing. Nothing in the inside cover of that. Um, let's sort this out. And yeah, this one's pretty heavy. Oh, hold on. I think I know why this is heavy. <laughs> I just realized. Um, the booklet is thick. This The booklet is the reason why this is heavy. It's because of the fact that the booklet is... Um... It has covered literally everything. Um, pretty much just covering the CD stuff, the blue, the CD stuff, the Blu-ray stuff. So that's already two pages. So. Then there's the lyrics, which is a pretty long song because they have like t I think two verses. I need to double check on that. I haven't heard the full version. And then there's, yeah, the second one. I think this is the second one, which is the second version. I need to double check. Oh no, I forgot. Um, they have versions for each of the characters as well. So they are covering a lot in this booklet. Um, which, I mean, I respect that. So I was like wondering why this was heavy. All right, so now we know why this is pretty heavy. Um, all right, let's take a look. Damn, that is one big booklet. Ooh. And I think it gives you the alt covers as well. If you see on the bottom right of each page, it gives you alt covers that were used for the original versions of these songs. Online, if you bought these songs online, these would be the covers. Holy crap. Great. All right, so then there's the actual CD. Um, yeah, it's colorless, so nothing too special here. And then, if you take a look, yeah, there's a lot of tracks. Again, oh god, I'm trying to still figure out how they put all of those. And then there's, I think, disc two, which is Blu-ray. Pretty cool design. And then this is the thing that pops up when before each song for this album. Honestly, pretty cool design-wise. Um, yeah, all we need to know is that the booklet is thick. I'm still trying to figure out how they managed to put thick-ass booklet here, but honestly, as Maybe it's not that big, I'm just overreacting, but... Oh god, I can't believe... It. I didn't... I was trying to... I can't believe it took me that long to realize. this. And then... Of course... Let me not forget... Is that one little tag. So now, in my opinion, what do I think? Um... Both of these CDs are obviously pretty cool. They all have a, they both have different songs that Hollow is a really catchy song and actually hold on, it's Rising Volt Tacklers, that's catchy. But I just I think Hollow is a really good like visual song. I really recommend the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray version is like really good. Um, just the visuals itself, if you've seen the opening. Fantastic visuals. Now as for Rising Volt Tacklers, it's just a it's just a goofy song, you know, just, it's just a goofy song that gives characteristics to each of the characters for Horizon's anime. Honestly, I'm, it's a really cool song just because of how much character it gives out. If, like, 
it just gives out character to each character, even though it's just a song. That's literally the same lyrics for each character. But it shows the character from how they, like, react to songs. Some of them, like, speak really fast. And then some of them just don't speak at all. Like, the old man. I forget his name again. But pretty much, I just like the cool details this song evokes. And it's honestly a... It's just a cool song, in my opinion. So, as we put this away, um, I will do the ripping on my own time for obvious reasons. But, I did get some other things from CD Japan. That's if I can put all this. That is, like, a lot to cover. So, I did get some other things. I'm... I might cover in a different video, but here are some other things I did get. I did get the superhero soundtrack for Dragon Ball. I finally collect. This means I finally have all of uh, Dragon Ball movie soundtracks. And I'm honestly proud of this one, so pretty cool pickup here. Next up is uh, Sonic Frontiers Revisited, which is the expansion. Um, uh, this is not for me. I, it's just for a friend, friend of mine. I'm kind of giving it to him, so it's honestly cool just to have. Plus, the soundtrack has some really good songs in my opinion. Um, then, for the rest, uh, it wouldn't be a Pokemon video without more stuff. I did get Scarlet and Violets. Well, actually, Scarlet plus DLC in Japan, Japanese, and. Essentially, this one comes with DLC, and I got sealed with DLC, so I was like, you know what would be funny if I... Um, <laughs> this came in the wrong thing, but hold on. This wasn't supposed to be in here. <laughs> oh my god, I was wondering where this was. Anyways, you go over here. But yeah, pretty much, I decided to get Scarlet plus DLC physically on in Japan, Japanese, just because I got, well, I got shields with DLC, so I think it was only respectable. Then I got this, which I might have to cover this in another video, but holy, this is really high quality. Um, this comes with the 20th, 20th movie, and it comes with the first episode of Pokemon that's recolored. So, Honestly, props to that. And then the final thing, um, which is Pokemon Music Collective. This one's big. Um, I wasn't expecting how big this would be. But essentially, uh, think to the Pokemon 25th anniversary uh, thing. They did for 25th anniversary. Um, essentially, it's essentially like the Japanese version of this, but it's big. I'm going to have to take a look at how this is because this might be an entire different video. But yeah. Final thoughts. I think uh, Hollow and Rising Volt Tackler's Rap are both really good songs. Like, they're fun songs to begin with. Hollow just, I would get it specifically for the visuals of the theme song for the Blu-ray version. And Rising Volt Tackler's Rap, it just has a bunch of songs. And it gives off a lot of characters. So I think both of these CDs are great. Hollow takes the edge here in my opinion though. This was way too cool to pass up. So anyways, I hope you all have a nice day and I'll see you later. Take care.